uh, the London Borough of Lambeth signed the plant-based treaty. So this is I mean, a much I'm sorry, broader this is such move. abject nonsense. A, a, a plant-based treaty, for God's sake. I mean, again, they're not the UN. As we look back on 2023, we'd like to share the plant-based treaty's progress while being mindful that there is so much more that needs to be done on this urgent issue. Did you know the plant-based treaty has five main programs? One, we collect endorsements from individuals, groups, businesses, and cities. Our theory of change is creating grassroots, bottom-up pressure on governments to negotiate a global treaty. More than 120,000 individuals have signed. We spoke and tabled at dozens of veg fests, universities, and marches. For Earth Day, we marched with vegan Earth Day marches in dozens of cities, promoting a plant-based food system and calling for a plant-based treaty. We launched 14 petitions during the year, mainly in support of our city campaigns, as well as calling on COP28 to go vegan. In May 2023, on our most popular petition, we hit the milestone of 100,000 signatures on our Stop Octopus Farming petition. The plant-based treaty is a part of a coalition of environmental and animal protection organizations calling on the Canary Islands to refuse permits for Pescanova to build the world's first octopus factory farm. Two, our city campaigns have seen major progress. In 2023, five cities endorsed the plant-based treaty and committed to meaningful policy changes. We gained notable endorsements from hundreds of city councillors in the UK, the Netherlands, Germany, Belgium, Ireland, the US, and Canada. We supported Edinburgh by joining in with a community outreach event in the city and gave a plant-based treaty presentation at the Central Library. Campaigners have delivered depositions to their city councils to urge them to endorse the plant-based treaty and update city plans to include a plant-based food strategy. We also gave over a dozen plant-based treaty presentations to city leaders and mayors in cities around the world. Over in the Big Apple, New York City's mayor, Eric Adams, signed a plant-based treaty proclamation calling for a fair and accessible plant-based food system. Three. Menu changes at various institutions like hospitals and universities. But we haven't stopped at the city level. We've been working with institutions to help them upgrade their menus with plant-based options. In Turkey, Nilgun says, In 2022, we began a pivotal collaboration with Hypatia Cafe in Ankara. Initially lacking vegan options, our kitchen workshops introduced them to simple yet delicious vegan dishes. This initiative led to the cafe adding four vegan items to their menu in 2023. The cafe also aids our activism efforts by hosting a sign-up sheet for individual endorsements. And we are actively supporting their transition to a fully vegan establishment. In Didim, we worked with seven restaurants and cafes and two hotels through nine workshops. We educated chefs and managers about plant-based dishes, leading to the introduction of vegan options in these establishments. They now proudly display PBT-friendly business flags. Inspired by Project Drawdown, we've developed a set of playbooks containing best practices for plant-based and rewilding policies. We want to make it as easy as possible for institutions to bring about change, and these invaluable resources will empower stakeholders from city councils to corporations to take meaningful action. You will be able to download them from our website. We launched a groundbreaking digital campaign page dedicated to promoting vegan dog and cat food. The response was incredible, with our free downloadable guide to feeding pets a plant-based diet being downloaded a remarkable 400 times in the very first month of publication. 
Health Save Argentina distributes meals to people in need in Buenos Aires, Santa Fe, and other locations. In 2023, 15 active chapters distributed a total of 28,000 meals. Jimena Zamora, campaign coordinator, says an impressive list of more than 150 organizers work together as a team and communicate daily. Four, global negotiations. In 2023, Johan Rockström and team announced that six of the nine planetary boundaries have been breached. Animal agriculture negatively impacts every one of the nine boundaries. Climate change is here. It is terrifying, and it is just the beginning. It is still possible to limit global temperature rise to 1.5 degrees Celsius and avoid the very worst of climate change, but only with dramatic, immediate climate action. The era of global warming has ended. The era, the era of global boiling has arrived. These were the words of the UN Secretary General, Antonio Gutierrez, in July of last year. Our impact reverberated at the Bonn Climate Conference. Our lobbying efforts shaped the summary report, emphasizing the absence of diet change in climate negotiations. During negotiations, we distributed 1,800 vegan hot dogs, engaged with delegates, and launched a petition for COP28 to go vegan, garnering over 17,000 signatures. Our plant-based treaty India team secured 100% vegan catering at the UN Conference of the Youth, attracting national national media coverage. Plant-based treaty activists attended the 2023 high-level political forum in New York City, lobbying for a plant-based treaty and food system transformation to address the climate, ocean, and biodiversity crisis. The plant-based treaty team was in full force at COP28, with a dozen activists representing plant-based treaty and advocating for a plant-based food system. We launched our first ever report, Safe and Just, the plant-based treaty's vegan donut economics approach to the food system. Based on Kate Raworth's donut economics, this groundbreaking report shines a light on the urgency of addressing the transgression of planetary boundaries beyond the critical climate crisis and raising the alarm bell on interrelated tipping points. The report then offers a solution, a safe and just transition to a plant-based food system following the plant-based treaty's forward-thinking principles, policies, and detailed proposals, focusing on a just transition that includes everyone. Change our diets, change our faith, sign the Planet Treaty at COP28. We were featured on TRT World a number of times. We are so late in this climate crisis already and the dairy industry is hugely responsible. Even if we are able to reduce emissions, it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean much if we don't target all the planetary boundaries. Five, trainings and webinars. We held several webinar training sessions in 2023, guiding people step-by-step step through doing a deposition at their local council or city campaigns, and also how to get your local university to go vegan. But don't worry if you missed the trainings, we have many more planned for 2024. We also held the first annual Plant-Based Treaty Awards, where we honored outstanding companies and individuals who have made a difference in the plant-based world. And the award is going to Jose Legato. So please, uh, a round of applause for Jose. As we reflect on these achievements, we want to express our gratitude to every supporter, ambassador, endorser, and partner who has contributed to the plant-based treaty movement. Together, we are making a lasting impact for a healthier, more sustainable future. If you had 365 days to dedicate to our planet, what would you do? Please join us and campaign for a plant-based treaty in your city. Our goal for 2024 is to get every major team and country to achieve 10 institutional changes per year. You can work on a school campaign, establish a community garden, lobby the government, build alliances, or help create bottom-up pressure by collecting endorsements. You can find lots of amazing resources on our website. Help us make 2024 the breakthrough year.